Yo, guys, it's Professor Bro Man here in Destiny. We're just gonna scoot around Mars with our little Night Stalker pal here, and we're gonna have a nice chat about all the hunter changes. Now, I know that you've probably had a chance to play around, uh, you know, and mourn the loss of your shade step being so shade steppy. You know, you can only do this now, you know, every three seconds. <laughs> um,. And honestly, I just kind of wanted to share my feelings about the changes, if that makes sense. Like, uh, a lot of people are angry, a lot of people are happy. You know, now that it's been a couple of days, I kind of wanted to sort of give you my input on the whole situation. Um, I think based on the changes that were made to the Hunters, not at least we'll start with Shade Step. At least uh, to Shade Step, I think it was kind of obvious by the changes that Bungie never really intended... Shade Step, and by extension, the Twilight Garrison to be such a powerful movement mechanic. They sort of wanted Shade Step to be like a ha-ha, and then like, oh, I got out of the way. Like, you know, cheeky, cheeky snipe runaway, or or like shotgun a dude and then, you know, roll back on his ass so that they, you know, you, you close distance or break distance quickly. Um, but being able to have two back-to-back -back gives you not just the mobility to, to push an oh fuck button, or slightly modify your direction once, but it lets you do it twice, allowing you to duck behind corners and things like that. And I know, as a Titan main, how fucking rude things get when it comes with the double dodge. So, the Shade Step change, as much as it makes me sad, because it sort of slows the gameplay down a little bit, I think it brings mobility for all the classes back in line, uh, which, like it or hate it, is something that is necessary. You don't, you don't want you know particular classes in the game being so much more maneuverable due to one exotic item or one exotic perk, uh, or one class perk. You don't want them to be so much more mobile that it sort of makes it unfair. Now, whether or not it was really unfair with the warlock situation going on with the fucking arc bolts and fire bolts and ass bolts. Is another story, but that was obviously the intent because Bungie is always going to try and bring us into a state where the game plays as they want it to be played. And of course, they listen to our input, but of course, when all these skills are designed, they have intent, and so they're going to look for their intent um, when they're making these changes. And I think that, especially when you're trying to understand the changes, why the hunter changes, which is probably going to be the title of this video. <laughs> Um, when you, when you're looking for why the changes, I think going back to whatever Bungie's intent was or, or what the designers were intending for the game, how was this, how is this to be used? You, you can kind of get a glimmer of what's going on and whether or not you agree with it's totally different and you have every right as a consumer to disagree. I'll never tell you not to argue if you don't want to argue, but you know, at least that's where understanding can start. So there's. There's Shade Step, bringing mobility, Shade Step, and then, you know, by extension, uh, Twilight Garrison, bringing all of everyone's mobility in line. But then there's the good change, right? Like, I could shoot someone, but blam with, with this, and they're instantly suppressed, which is fucking huge. Uh, I have noticed my ass getting dominated uh, in PvP because I'm not used to that. I'm used to being able to tank that hit and then kill them with my super, and now I can't be a cheeky dickhead anymore. It makes me sad, but... I'm happy for my hunter brothers and sisters. You hear a little pepper. That's my, my doge barking in the background there. Maybe Jovo can cut that out. He probably can't. Um, <laughs> so there's that. And then we have everybody's uh, other favorite thing that, that I've, I've seen a lot that's, that's been a concern. Is, and that's uh, the trip mine grenades. Now, as much as I love unicorning uh, my fellow guardians and then watching them explode, I do understand why there was the change that was made, uh, you know, to the trip mines. Uh, trip mines at their core, going back to understanding understanding the core motivation for the, the gear and how it's to be used. It, it's supposed to be a, an area of denial, right? Like, you don't get to walk past this wall. This wall is mine now, or you'll die. Um, and the fact that it would sticky on enemies clearly wasn't intended. And, you know... None of the other wall or area denial grenades really stick to enemies. You know, the spike grenades don't really stick to enemies' foreheads. Although that would be fucking hilarious. I would have loved to have a void spike grenade 
<laughs> stuck enemy running around and poisoning his whole team with void light like that would be dope um but you know one can only dream so you know the removal of the trip mine i don't feel like it's altered the core functionality of the uh of that grenade but it has again much like shade step sort of reduced the fun factor which womp womp. I, I do I do honestly hate it when the fun factor goes down because like who doesn't want to see a montage of a bunch of people getting hit in the head with a grenade and blowing up I certainly love doing it and there's nothing more fun than you know unicorning your friend and being like ha ha I own you uh, but unfortunately it's a time that is now long past so between shade step and the trip mine those were the two big complaints that I've heard a lot the other thing that I find really interesting, and, and I, I don't know how I personally feel about this, is it is now possible to set your uh, to set your hunter up to have... Uh, oh, oh, is it? Did they fix it? They may have fixed it. To have a net zero recovery. The first day, I actually set up my hunter so I had no recovery at all. But it is an interesting change to have Blink cause such a hit to recovery. Um, oh yeah, here you go, right here. So now Blink can give you actually the lowest recovery score as a hunter that you can possibly have. Uh, it's a big fucking surprise to me. I was like, uh, that seems a little unfair. Um, but even with really low recovery, it's not so abysmally low that you can't actually, you know, ever attack anyone. But... It does make you consider using Blink in a little bit different way. I, I don't necessarily feel like it's going to change people using Blink aggressively. Um, and I don't really know if it gives people more of a chance to fight back. But uh, it's certainly certainly going to be interesting this weekend at Trials. And, and finally, you know, the change to Skip Grenades. Uh, skip Grenades have been the bane of a lot of Trials matches for me. And, and I'm, I'm happy to see them change. Um... But I do have a concern that they may have been changed a little bit too much. Um, I know they increase the damage, but they also decrease the tracking. And it does feel overall like they move kind of slower. Now this could be me looking, you know, in the bushes for things that have changed. But I'm not 100% sure. But I want to get your input, guys. What are your thoughts about the hunter changes? Why the hunter changes? Why? 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 Um... These are my thoughts on all the things that have been brought up the most. I want to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Y'all are dope. We're coming up on 200,000 subs, which is crazy. We'll have to think of something cool to do when that happens. I love you guys, and I'll catch you next time.